welcome back. In this video, we're going to cover multi-head nesting in Sigma Nest. After you have created a new task, go to your task parameters. As you can see from this layout, the colored row is the master and the grayed out rows are the slaves. In this example, we are going to be using two sheets at a time, with four heads. Set your torch settings to either manual, sheet, variable, or largest part. Sheet is based off the sheet size and how many torches you have. Variable lets the automated system on your machine control your heads, and large part will look at the largest part in your nest and space the heads based on the part. Set your torch spacing and minimum torch distance. Select a torch priority. This will determine how your task gets nested and spaced. If you would like to nest in favor of using multiple torch layouts, use number of torches. Parts will not favor the torches and will lean more towards just putting the parts into the nest. The torch reduction schema is similar to the number of torch settings, but you can create priority levels for the amount of torches you have. If you have a four torch machine, you may want as many parts possible to be cut out with all four torches. You'd set that as priority one. The nesting engine will go down the list and lay out the nest according to the torch priority you have set up. If you only have one entry here, it will only nest with the parameters you provided. Note, if you are using the schema with multiple sheets, you need to know that combined sheets from your inventory will produce different results than if you use the multiple sheet settings in the task parameters. Multiple sheets are interpreted as two separate sheets, while combined sheets are looked at as one sheet. When setting up a master and slave scenario with the schema setting, this will come into play. Go ahead and finalize your settings and auto nest. Apply NC and go to the general NC settings. You can enable the multi-head sort method and it will prioritize how to cut the nest out. Max to min will allow the parts with the most torches to be cut out first. Single min max will cut the single torch parts first, then move up to the maximum torch parts. Go ahead and simulate with your preferred settings. And that's all there is to it.